ever wondered if there's a swift cure for the flu? Stick around as we explore effective methods to combat this common illness. Before we jump in, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and drop a comment below. Your engagement helps us bring more helpful content to you. In today's video, we're tackling the seasonal menace that affects millions annually, the flu. We'll break down what the flu really is and share proven strategies to cure it. Understanding the flu goes beyond just recognizing its symptoms. It involves knowing its causes and how it spreads, which is crucial in preventing and treating it effectively. From remedies at home to medical interventions, we will cover all the bases. Our goal is to provide you with practical and effective ways to recover from the flu, or better yet, avoid it altogether. Now, let's get into the details of curing the flu. First, it's essential to understand that the flu, or influenza, is a respiratory infection caused by viruses. These viruses spread primarily through tiny droplets when people with the flu cough, sneeze, or talk. Symptoms of the flu can include fever, cough, sore throat, runny or stuffy nose, muscle or body aches, headaches, and fatigue. Recognizing these symptoms early can be crucial in treating the flu effectively. The most common recommendation for fighting the flu is rest. Your body needs energy to fight off the virus, and resting helps conserve energy. Hydration is equally important. Drinking plenty of fluids prevents dehydration and keeps your throat moist, which is beneficial when dealing with coughs and sore throats. Over-the-counter, medications can relieve some of the symptoms of the flu. Medicines like paracetamol or ibuprofen can reduce fever and alleviate pain. However, it's important to use these as directed and consult with a healthcare provider, especially for young children or if you have other underlying health conditions. Antiviral drugs are another option. These are prescription medicines that can shorten the duration of flu symptoms and are most effective when taken shortly after symptoms appear. Examples include OST, ZAEV, and PVR. These drugs can be crucial for high-risk individuals, such as the elderly, young children, or those with certain health conditions. In addition to medications, simple home remedies can be quite effective. Inhaling steam can relieve nasal congestion and sinus pressure. A humidifier in your room can also help by adding moisture to the air, which eases congestion and coughing. It's also worth noting the role of a good diet in fighting the flu. Foods rich in vitamin C, like oranges and spinach, can boost your immune system. Similarly, foods with zinc, such as nuts and seeds, can help speed up your recovery. Remember, preventing the flu is always better than curing it. Annual flu vaccines can significantly reduce your risk of getting the flu. Practicing good hygiene like washing hands regularly and avoiding close contact with sick individuals can also help prevent the spread of flu viruses. Lastly, remember that while most people can recover from the flu at home, it's important to watch for emergency warning signs that require immediate medical attention. These include difficulty breathing, chest pain, persistent dizziness, and severe weakness. By understanding these strategies, and when to use them, you can take effective steps to cure the flu. Whether it's choosing the right medication, utilizing home remedies, or seeking medical care, knowing your options is key to a quick recovery. Armed with this information, you can approach flu season with confidence and readiness. Stay tuned for more health tips, and remember, keeping informed is your first line of defense against the flu. The first step in effectively managing flu symptoms is to recognize them early. Identifying symptoms like fever, cough, and body aches quickly allows for earlier treatment, which can reduce the duration of the illness. Once symptoms are recognized, it's crucial to begin hydration. Drinking plenty of fluids not only helps to thin mucus, but also prevents dehydration, which can worsen the symptoms and lead to further complications. 
Rest is another vital step in curing the flu. By resting, you allow your body to direct more energy towards the immune response. This is crucial in fighting off the virus and aiding a faster recovery. Next, consider using seam inhalation or a humidifier. Adding moisture to the air helps alleviate congestion and soothes irritated nasal passages and throats, making it easier to breathe and feel comfortable. Eating nutritious foods during your recovery from the flu is essential. Foods rich in vitamins such as vitamin C and zinc support the immune system. A well-supported immune system is better able to fight off the flu virus. If symptoms persist or worsen, consulting a healthcare professional is a necessary step. They may prescribe antiviral drugs if they are deemed necessary, which can be particularly important for those in high-risk group. For those not at high risk, over-the-counter medications can relieve symptoms of the flu. These include pain relievers, decongestants and antipyretics. However, it is important to use these according to the guidelines to avoid any side effects. Lastly, prevention should not be overlooked. Annual vaccinations and good hygiene practices like regular hand washing and avoiding close contact with those who are ill can prevent the flu or lessen its severity. Before we move on to the rest of the video, if you are finding this helpful, please like, subscribe and comment, as it really helps this video reach a wider audience. Here is a case study related to how to cure the flu. Sarah, a 35-year-old teacher from Manchester, began experiencing flu symptoms on a Wednesday. Aware of the importance of early intervention, she started by increasing her fluid intake and resting as much as possible. By Thursday, with her symptoms worsening, she consulted her GP who advised her to start taking an antiviral medication and continue resting and hydrating. Sarah followed her GP's advice diligently. She stayed home from work, rested extensively, and took her medication as prescribed. She also used a humidifier to ease her breathing and made sure to eat nutrient-rich foods to support her immune system. By the following Monday, her symptoms had significantly improved, allowing her to return to her daily activities. A quick response and adherence to her GP's advice were key in her swift recovery. If you're dealing with the flu, it's essential to respond quickly. Start with basic steps like resting and drinking plenty of fluids. These actions help your body in fighting off the virus more effectively. If symptoms do not improve, or if you belong to a high-risk group, do not hesitate to seek professional medical advice. Always keep in mind that prevention is the best strategy. Regular hand-washing, avoiding close contact with those who are ill, and getting the annual flu vaccine are effective ways to prevent the flu or reduce its severity if you do catch it. Remember, taking these proactive steps can make a significant difference in your health during flu season. If you found this video useful, please don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps us out and is greatly appreciated. Your support allows us to continue providing valuable health information to everyone. Thank you for watching.